Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing four or five things, I don't know, this, this, this right here. They're gonna appear in the screen right now and you're gonna see them and you're gonna be like, wow, again? Seriously? And I'm gonna be like, yes, again. While we eat a mini pizza. So, first of all, we're gonna jump into Breaking Bad Season 3, the worst season yet. Yeah, let me tell you, dude, it's the worst thing i watched in a while, from Breaking Bad at least. Which doesn't make any sense when I say it like that, but don't worry about it. <laughs> like, Breaking Bad manages to be, in, well, Season 3 at least, manages to be incredibly boring and incredibly entertaining at the same time. And there's like, this ups that are just oh my god this is interesting this is cool and then you go down in the boring zone and you stay right there a boiling hot pot of that you just sit on and you're like okay it's gonna be over anytime like really please oh my god stop it i had a lot of uh, will issues while watching this i wanted to quit okay also skylar guessing that Walter was a drug dealer out of the blue it seems like it, it seems to make sense but at the same time it's just so out there so first try that it just feels convenient and not credible at all <laughs> at least for me I, I couldn't I was like what the fuck how did you how did you guess no that's impossible why would your brain go to there <coughs> Also, everybody, every single human being in that TV show, with the clear exception of Walter Jr., because he's a, an absolute chad, as I said, devolves into uh, a steaming pile of sh Okay, they, they are like literally bad people. They, they get worse and worse. And I don't know if that's because they know Walter, and Walter is just like that fungi, fungus that just spreads all over people like a good tv show the last of us don't get me wrong um breaking bad still mid but i must say spoilers for the next review season four good really clean okay they are cooking finally they're cooking something good what else can i add for season three season three is the downfall of hank Hank just goes down and he's down on his leg and he keeps going down, boy. And it just, it's, I pity him, okay? I pity him. What is interesting to watch and actually enjoyable is Jesse. How Jesse evolves into an actual grown-up, I guess. It's interesting to watch, but also kind of boring, kind of repetitive, and I want him to move on. And I wish that he would have moved on sooner. This season has the worst episodes of the whole TV show. Right. Overall, I'm gonna have to give Breaking Bad Season 3 a total score of 6.6. It's not bad, but so far, the worst season. Now let's jump to the next one. An animated movie. A DC animated movie that seems to be the only good thing coming out of DC. Well, this one is kind of old, but I liked it. Batman vs. Robin. I don't have a lot to say, I have like two things to say. It's interesting to see the characters of Batman and Robin interact. It's lovely, but also he has some flashbacks that are like 10 to 15 minutes and they are way too long for an animated movie, okay? You could have just summarized that into five minutes. Enjoyable. Overall enjoyable, but the animation is nothing special, it's just like very, very basic, <laughs> okay? Uh, so I recommend it to watch. Yeah, I guess if you like DC and you want to watch something good. Yeah, go, go ahead and watch it uh, <laughs> Overall, it's better than whatever is coming out of live-action DC So I'm gonna give Batman vs. Robin a total score of 6.15 Gotta go fast boy because I have to go out actually <laughs> Mission Impossible 3 That's right Mission Impossible 3 is actually, believe it or not, ah! well, it's a good movie. It's, it's enjoyable. I enjoyed it. I had fun. Finally, we see Benji, the character of uh, Simon Pegg. Finally, it's, it's there. He looks so young. Everybody looks so young. Tom Cruise, 
has the, the the fountain of youth next to him because he doesn't age at all. It's a good movie with a great villain. The, the antagonist is actually good. I enjoyed it a lot. Although, I need to clarify some things. It's kind of old. You can see the age. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit... Mm, and I don't like J.J. Abrams, so that's my personal issue, though. They say that heroes are only as good as their villains. And you know what? They are right. I don't know who said that, but they are right. They are correct, okay? Like... Great antagonist equals a great protagonist. This is like a rule, a golden rule, okay? You have some scenes in this movie, though, that are just like, why? You have, a, like, a whole ass shot of Tom Cruise running for, like, 15 to 20 seconds. Just, like, running in China, like... <laughs> like, the Tom Cruise run, you know? You know what I'm talking about? And it's like, okay, but... You could have cut that, you know? A little bit, just a little bit. You, we don't, we didn't need, uh, like, 15 minutes of running. Also, a critique that I have now that I watched almost every single uh, Mission Impossible movie, it needs an overarching villain, okay? It needs it. Like, it seriously does. Um, because it, it would be so great to have, like, an antagonist, like, an overall antagonist, like a Th Thanos, more or less, or just, like, a good... Villain, not an episodic villain, not like the villain of the week or the villain of the movie, because even though that works for Mission Impossible, it feels like it would be great to have that, and they are doing that in MI7, I think, like Mission Impossible 7, The Reckoning, Part 1 and Part 2, I guess. I don't know, it makes me look forward to the next movie, actually, and not like restarting the whole thing of, oh, we need a new villain, oh, we need a new villain, oh, we need a new antagonist. It's kind of slow, honestly. In every single movie you have like the mission impossible, you know, like the, the impossible mission that they need to do and they just need to make happen and they do make it happen by the skin of their teeth. In this one, we kind of don't have it. They plan everything and they like write on the windows, the math and everything and it's like in, cut, out. Come on dude, like it's mission impossible, we needed that. That's like, it, it takes, it tanks a little bit. It sounds a little bit better because, like, come on, Mission Impossible, like the actual Mission Impossible. We needed that. I wanted that music. Uh, the color correction is so bad. <laughs> it's horrible. Like, editor, editor, me, make it happen. It looks like this, okay? It looks like this weirdly orange and super saturated colors. I didn't like it. It's, too, it's way 2000s. I, I don't like 2000s movie. And I have to give Mission Impossible a total score of 6.9 we are finally getting close to what Mission Impossible should be but not close enough uh, anyways I have to go take a bath and go out right now because I'm gonna arrive late hello I'm back yes I changed clothes I am here to do the final review before I have to upload this video I left it for last moment actually I'm I need to upload it in less than half an hour so I need to edit this part and upload it in less than half an hour. This is gonna be a challenge, okay? A speeding challenge. Because I left myself B for way too long. So let me give you the review of Breaking Bad Season 4. Okay? Just the best Breaking Bad season ever. Probably. Hopefully. I mean, Season 5 may look uh, promising, but I don't trust it, okay? I don't trust it. So, let me jump into it. First of all is, oh my god, everyone is so freaking prideful, dude, chill the freak down. Actually, when Hank was uh, complimenting the other um, cook, the other uh, chemist, and Walter was like, I mean, I wouldn't go so far to, as to call him genius. I, I, I was like, are you stupid? Are you dumb? What happened to your brain? Did you, did you start consuming your own product? Really? Seriously? What? What's wrong with you? I couldn't believe it. It's like I had to click off the episode. I was like, no, you know what? I'm done. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm, I got up and left. Uh, second point on my review. Uh, everybody is bald because if you're gonna be dealing with drugs, uh, you're you gotta be bald. Hank, uh, Walter, Jesse, Gustavo Fring, Mike. Also five five different people bald. Tuco was bald also. Uh, so, 
Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if Skylar just went and just like shaved her head just for the sake of being on brand. Skylar's boss, on the topic of Skylar, Skylar's boss died in the most stupid, dumb, useless way ever. And I can't freaking believe it, okay? It's just like he trips, breaks his freaking head and dies. What is that? That's lazy writing. That's what it is. Lazy. Lazy as writing. Oh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else do I have for this review? Uh, because Walter is the dumbest, smartest person I've met. I don't think I have anything else to say. It's a good season overall. You should watch season four. Is worth it? Yes. But I don't know if all the mid content is worth it. Overall, I'm going to give Breaking Bad season four a total score of seven. The best season yet, the best episodes are here. I Am The Danger is one of the best lines and the acting game in this season is just, it goes not over the roof, but it goes up, okay? It really does go up. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching another review and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Memento free.